Yo, yo, YouTube. I'm back. It is Monday, no, Tuesday today. Tuesday, the 17th of October. Um, I'm on my way back home. It is currently Sheffield, that I'm in, <laughs> and it is currently 20 to 9. I'll be home at about 20 to 11. Um, I'm not going to do stats for today because I'm going to average it out over next today and tomorrow because I've got a load on board that I haven't got a chance to deliver tonight. But I'll tell you what I've done today. Um, but after, before I do that, I'll tell you what I've done the last few days. So my last video was a while ago because I was on holiday last week in Scotland. Went to Dunblane and spent a really nice, peaceful week in a cottage. It was really private, which I loved, really quiet, which I loved. Um, it was um, just a good chance to get away from everything um, and not think about work or earning money or YouTube. And it was really nice. Um, we didn't do an awful lot. We did go out, a couple of, go out a bit, but most of it was spent eating lots of rubbish and not too much else, just relaxing. Um, when I got back, we got back on Saturday and I was feeling all right, but then sort of in the evening, I sort of didn't sleep very well. And Sunday I felt quite rough. And so really I was quite, felt quite ill on Sunday. And so I decided then I probably would be working on Monday. Um, come Monday morning, I was nowhere near ready to go back to work. And unfortunately, I did get a call from a shipper asking me to do a job, but I just couldn't do it. Um, I wasn't in the right place to do any work on Monday. Um, and then I had recovered this by this morning enough to look for jobs. So I'm back at work today and I didn't have a job booked in for this morning, obviously. So this morning I was looking for jobs and I want to tell you about that experience on the CX system. So, my bids. The first bid that I put on this morning was from Boston to Nottingham. That was actually last night I put that on. It was for a long wheelbase van. The distance was 50 miles on the CX system. And I put a bid of 75 pounds, seven five pounds. And I didn't get that, that was sold. And then this morning, a couple of really good jobs came up. So one was from Spalding to Bolton. Um, this would have been around about quarter past eight in the morning. And it was for a long wheelbase van. The distance on the CX was 155 miles. And I bid 175 pounds, which is less than I would usually do for that job because I had a job to do today that involved getting myself to either Blackpool or Leeds or Runcorn. And so I was trying to find work that got me to that point, those points. And now obviously Bolton is not very far away from Blackpool. I didn't get that job unfortunately, which is really disappointing. And then another great job came up, it's from Boston to Blackpool. And I put a bid on of 170 for a small van job going 181 miles. Specifically because the Blackpool location was about three miles from my pickup that I had already booked in to do. So to, get, to be paid to get there, even if it's less than a pound a mile, would have been really good. That got sold, and that was about 8.35, no, 8, yeah, 8.35-ish. And then I noticed it came up again. I checked to see if there was any difference in why it came back up. And I couldn't see any difference. So I put the same bid on, 170 pounds, and got a call. And uh, I was asked to do the job, I was available, and then 
iPad down, and that was a great start to my day. Um, I hadn't quite got myself ready, um, as in, I'd had a shower, I was making some sandwiches for the day, and I, was, I was getting dressed and done quite everything to get ready. And then I got a call back saying, could I go a bit later at 10.30 pickup, rather than the, the 9 o'clock pickup that they, they were originally had. And that was perfect for me because I had an hour then to get everything else sorted. So yeah, I was fine with that. So I then had a job from Boston, which is about half an hour or so away from me, going to Blackpool, paying me to get to my pickup in Blackpool, and then I could do the rest of my routes from there. The only downside was that it was a late start, which meant that I had, couldn't get it all done in one day. So I went across to Boston and then I immediately realized I'd forgot to put in my van my DOD book and my folder and my Chromebook. I don't really need my Chromebook when I'm out and about, that I very rarely use it, but my folder has in some pre-printed PODs for my regular work and I didn't have a POD book. But I did have a spare POD book in my van. So I was able to um, relax in terms of PODs because I had a spare book. And everything else I could get by with without it. So I carried on up to Boston. Um, it's somewhere I've been before. Um, I was slightly late because I left 10 minutes late, um, but uh, they were fine when I got there, they were busy with other things, and they're, they're quite relaxed. Um, the guy, interestingly, you know, one of the things I want to talk about um, in these next few videos is to kind of reinforce the idea of being nice is a good idea. And uh, this, in this particular place, I've been there a few times, and the guy is always the same guy that serves me, he's a Polish guy, and he's always quite miserable. And it's not because he's Polish, it's just because he is naturally quite miserable. And so today I was a, a bit more cheerful because I expected him to be a miserable. And he wasn't too bad today. And then at the end I gave him a bit, two big thumbs up and a big thank you for loading me up. And he gave me a smile. It's the first time he smiled. And I was so pleased about that. It made my day getting him to smile. Bless him. Um, I'm not being critical of him. I mean, uh, he, he works in a warehouse, for goodness sake. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be happy if he worked in a warehouse. But I just love the fact that I was able to, I think he's going to recognise me as well from a few other trips. So I, I was able to get him to smile at me, which I thought was a bit of a win today for me. So that was a good, good, good start for my day. It made me feel good. Yeah, so the trip to from Boston to Blackpool Paul, is around about three and a half hours-ish. So I put in four hours as my ETA to give me time to have a little break and uh, and uh, in case of traffic. And then I just made my way towards Blackpool in a very happy way. Sunny, shining, back at work, doing some bits really easy to earn lots of money. And yeah, so I got across to Blackpool and I think before I got to my drop off, I got some fuel. No, it was afterwards, yeah. So after I dropped off um, at Blackpool, uh, I then um, so got offloaded at a place I've been at to before again. Um, again, the trolley from was really helpful. Um, got, uh, oh yeah, one of the things I should say is um, my strapping technique. I, I put a strap over the top of the first pallet and around the front of the first pallet, so it moving forwards. And I put a strap over the back pallet and, and I strapped um, at the back of uh, the, the actual pallet, the back of my van. So each pallet had two straps and I was quite confident about their stability. The actual packaging was quite poorly packaged. Um, if I describe it, it was, it was bo cardboard boxes that were wrapped, that were stacked up on a pallet and they were wrapped in cellophane, but some of the boxes were heavy and they were squashing the other boxes. So it wasn't a very neat pile of. Uh, of a pallet once I got to my van. So I was quite pleased that um, while I was driving, I wasn't worried about them moving at all. And I'm quite happy with that way of strapping them down. So I feel that it's taken me a long time, but strapping at least pallets, uh, I, think I think I can uh, 
do um, with some confidence now. Anyway, oh yeah, also, to, to, I've repeated something. Uh, I have been using my edging corners, protective protection edges, uh, edging protectors, and they are a godsend now. They make strapping up so much easier. Uh, they're, they're 21 pounds for 10, so much good value. It's one of the best value things I've, I've bought to do this job. Um, yeah, so I then went to my pickup in Blackpool for my regular shipper, and that was literally 2.2 miles away. So that's my dead miles, 2.2, apart from the dead miles to Boston. Um, and I arrived, um, got my load put on, and that's when I went and got some diesel because I was running out on the way to my next pickup, which is Runcorn. Um, and the diesel, I wanted to talk about the diesel because. As I've said a few times, and other people have said in their videos, the diesel cost is very expensive at the moment. But for some reason, my UK fuel supplier offered me 10 pence off this week, that they were offering or maybe 9 pence off this week than last week. And that made them really good value compared to the pump prices and the other fuel card I've got. So I filled up for the first time for a long time with my UK fuels card, which is quite a nice novelty for me. It's going to help a little bit with cash flow for a week. And also, I think we've been not working for a week. That means there's another week of um, cash flow being eased from not having to um, pay out for fuel for a week. Um, so that's all, all, these, all these bits are helping a little bit at the moment to just my cash flow. I get through to the end of this month without going over draw, and I'll be happy. Um, and then um, I yeah got, went to Runcorn, picked up my stuff at Runcorn, and then I made my way to my last pickup, which was Leeds. Um, I rang ahead because I was going to be a bit later than um, normal opening hours, but they were happy to be ready for me, and so I got to Leeds um, and got loaded up by about seven-ish, roughly, just gone seven maybe, but maybe a tad after. And then I had already decided that I was going to go home tonight, because Leeds to High Wycombe basically goes past my house. So I'll go home tonight, sleep in my own bed, and then tomorrow morning take the stuff down to High Wycombe. Now, because I'm doing it that way, I can't really just really say I've earned the money for this job today. So that's why I'm going to do my stats for today and tomorrow averaged out and in tomorrow's video but just so you know the money for this today's pickup is 400 pounds and then the money from this morning was 170 pounds so tomorrow morning when i've dropped off this load um i will have made 570 over the over that day and a half which isn't too bad it's a nice start to my week um and i'm gonna i'm gonna cx the rest of the week um, on Thursday, I'm going to see my dad for his birthday, so I may not do a full day's work. And then on Friday, I've got the, another route to do for my regular shipper, which is Sheffield to Chelmsford, then to High Wycombe. And so that'll be a nice end to the week, and that is going to be £310. Um, I know it's a Friday going across London, so it'll be Sheffield to Chelmsford to London, to High, across London to High Wycombe, and then head back home. But it should be, a, if I get myself to Sheffield in the morning, or either in the morning on the Friday or the evening of Thursday, then it'll, it'll work really well. Ideally, I want to be finishing up in Sheffield, having done a job from the Birmingham area on Thursday after I've done my dad's party. But that's probably asking for a bit too much. We'll see how it goes. I'm happy to go with a moving up to Sheffield in the morning on Friday and then just have a later day on Friday. Ah, anyway, so that's, I'm not doing Saturday because of that, so that's everything there. Um, I wanted to talk about two things. Um, there's so much I can talk about at the moment, I'm going to save it for other videos. Um, but the first thing I want to talk about is my subscribers. Um, this is the last time I'm going to mention my subscriber numbers and I'll mention it for a particular reason. So I've checked today and it's 176 subscribers today and the reason why I mention it is because the 176th person is a very special person. 
That person, number 176, is my partner. I felt it was the right time to tell her about my YouTube journey. So in that hour I had this morning, which was waiting for the pickup from Boston, it felt like the right time to share my secret with her. And I wasn't sure how she'd take it because it was a secret that I'd kept from her, but she's a very reasonable person and it wasn't about me being unfaithful or anything about important. It was just me being me. <laughs> yeah, she knows me. So we had a conversation about it. Um, I got her to subscribe. So effectively, I made her subscribe. She didn't choose to. So if you listen to this, I apologise. <laughs> it's strange now because now I'm no. See, now I'm talking to somebody who knows me, and and she and I know her. So it's a bit of a weird, weird conversation. Conversation now because I know who I'm talking to. And tonight, when I get back, she could say, I've saw and seen that video, and uh, you know, I could get instant feedback. Oh, scary. Anyway, where was I? So I had a conversation with her about it, explained my rationale. Um, you know, there's a, lot, there's a lot to the YouTube journey that I'm doing that has kind of developed over time. And then I let, let her watch a few of my videos, and then I left her to it, and she like to get off to my job. So, um, yeah, so a very important subscriber. Um, I'm going to leave it at that, I think. That's just, it's been, it's been a bit of a, it was, it was difficult to know what to do for the best. And it just felt like the right time to let her know. Um, and the last thing I want to talk about is, just checking my list. Yeah, yeah, is um, the idea of, I'll, I'll try and do a bit of explanation behind this, a bit of context. Um, it's an idea that I did look at briefly a couple of years ago. I don't really do it regularly anymore, but I think there's some merit in it, and I want to share it with you, and I'm going to perhaps do it through this channel now. And the idea is to um, start your day as one of the things you do is to say to yourself or think to yourself or record right down somewhere some some things that you're grateful for and the, the, the reason for that is if you recognize things that you're grateful for in your life it's then really hard to be negative to have a negative mindset because if you recognize that you are lucky you've got something to be grateful for then you can't really complain about how bad things are going. And I think it's all part of my um, my aim, my wish to be a positive influence on the world, a po have a positive um, attitude to my own life and other people around me. And it's not always easy, I must say. It's just sometimes I have to choose to take a positive approach. But I think it's important. I think it's easier to be negative, it's easier to criticise, it's easier to blame someone else for things going wrong, or to blame karma, or God, or you know, whatever, whatever spiritual thing you might believe in. It's harder, I think, to just say, well, I made a mistake, or it's my responsibility, or I'll do better next time, or I'll learn from that. And so I think having a positive mindset is really um, important. It makes my life so much easier now that I do that. And I think part of encouraging that is doing things that make you feel positive. So I don't, I don't go in for smiling therapy or laughing therapy. I've heard that that sort of makes you feel positive. I don't mean that, but I mean that's. I'm not saying that won't work for you. I mean, I'm sure there's nothing wrong with that. But literally, if I say to myself I, each morning what I'm grateful for then that will give me a good start. And what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to do that on this channel. Um, I'm going to try and end each video on something that I'm grateful for to give you some idea about what I mean. I'm going to try and give by examples the sorts of things that I'm grateful for. And I think that is something that I can do through this channel, 
which will help me recognize what I'm going for, also give the examples about what I mean by that as a concept. Um, so, I have to uh, end this video, and the first thing I'm going to say that I'm grateful for is a massive thing. I am so grateful to have met my partner. We met just under a year ago on by online dating. She was the first person that I met in real life. I had about five or six interested people. Um, and this is the first person that I actually met. I know the date that we first communicated, I know the date that we first met. And I am so grateful that I did do the online dating because that isn't my thing and that I did go on that first date and that I did, to, to use the vernacular, swipe right, to use the modern vernacular. Um, I hope and I think she knows that I'm grateful, it's not a surprise because I do try and make it clear how much I value her being in my life. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for listening. I hope that you are successful in however way you define that term. And rather than asking what you've learned today, I'm going to ask, what are you grateful for today? <laughs>